Uh, hello, uh, I'm QSS. My last video did pretty well, so I'm gonna make another one. This time I'm gonna be talking about carnivore plants. You know, like Venus flytraps and stuff. These are plants that, well, they're carnivores. They eat animal meat to survive. Alright, let's start with the most common ones. These are, you know, those house plants that you can just buy at Ikea or something. Probably the most famous one, the Venus flytrap. Even though they're called Venus flytraps, they can also eat other small animals. Like wasps, snails, frogs, and salamanders. How a Venus flytrap works is if it has an animal in its mouth, it starts to close tightly around it. And then it starts spitting out digestive enzymes to dissolve the animal. And when it's done, it opens up and then there's a dry husk of an animal inside its mouth. Or its stomach, I don't even know what it is. Next house plant is a bit less common one. The pitcher plant. These are just tubes that flies fly into and then a leaf closes at the top, trapping the fly inside. And then the fly gets digested. Same deal with the Venus flytrap. It doesn't only eat flies, it eats other small critters too. I don't know if these are houseplants. Maybe some people have them. They, yeah, they probably do. I think they do. The sundew. These plants have hairs. And every one of those hairs have a little droplet of some sweet syrup. Flies and other small critters try to eat the syrup. But it's actually digestive enzymes. The critters stick to the digestive enzymes and the sundew closes around them and they can't they can't even move. They can't do anything. They're dead. Alright, final big boy. The tropical pitcher plant. These are just stomachs now. This thing eats mice and birds and salamanders now. Now it has an entire pool of essentially stomach acid now. Still can't harm humans though. You can like just about fit your fist in there. Welcome to the end card. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, and thanks for all the support in the comments. Really means a lot. So yeah. Um. Uh. See ya.